Have you heard of it before? Yes, on YouTube, yes. Oh, that's great. Cool. Yes, yeah. So yeah. we're trying to have nice civilized discussion, uh, talk to people, get to know things, you know, learn from you, and we can try to anything you can learn from me, and we can both learn together. Um, now, you came to us, we were standing with uh, Brother Mohammed Ijab. Yes. Uh, yep. And you came and you said uh, that you came to Islam. Yes. When yep. was this? About uh, three weeks ago. Okay. Uh, well, yeah, four weeks here, three, four weeks here. Where are you from originally? Bournemouth. Oh, Bournemouth? Born and bred in Bournemouth, yes. Oh, wow, well, I've, yeah, 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 yeah. I've been there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been there. Yeah. So, was you... Tell us a bit about your journey. Tell us a bit about your story. What, yeah. what made you... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, raised in like a uh, Christian school, went to a Christian school. Uh, parents weren't particularly um, religious of any kind. Um, and just bought into the concept that there was no God and just sort of carried on my life doing what I want to do and just enjoying myself. Um, and then about four years ago, four or five years ago, um, just started asking myself deeper questions, sort of, um, is there a God? And you look at the perfection of creation. Um, That's very interesting. Yeah. Just to stop there, Allah yep. says in the Quran, إن في خلق السماوات والأرض واختلاف الليل والنهار لآيات لأولي الألباب. Indeed, in the creation of the heavens and the earth, and in the alternation of the night and day, there are signs for those who believe. Amazing, amazing. So, yeah. Um, so I just started asking myself deeper questions, and I think possibly with my upbringing, I, I started homing towards Christianity um, without really thinking too much about it and actually yeah, you've got, you've got I hand. know yeah, yeah you've got the tattoo of the cross on my hand so, <laughs> yeah. um, and at the time the Catholic Church made sense I think okay. if I was looking at Christianity and I, I, I sort of heavily didn't look at any other religions just Christianity and Catholicism made sense I thought if, if, if the Christian Church is true then then they've got the best arguments mm. for the truth um, so got baptised thought everything was fine bought into everything, the Trinity and everything, without really thinking too much about it, and then um, started coming across YouTube videos. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, um, started talking to a brother at work who, who, who shared the, the oneness of God. Um, my research then sort of led me deeper into sort of like Old Testament and the, the prophets from old, um, and they all seem to have the same message, the oneness of God, um, and, and if he messed up, he was quite a harsh God. And uh, you know what I mean? And uh, I started looking at Islam, and for me, Islam, if you compare it to what the Old Testament prophets or the Old Testament prophets were teaching, Islam sort of followed that line. Whereas for me, with Christianity, there was a massive change. At some point, all of a sudden, there's a Trinity, and there's Mary, and there's all this stuff that suddenly comes from nowhere. And, I got to a point where I thought I'm not going to know everything, um, but I trusted that the message of Islam, the oneness, um, was true. Um, so I phoned up my local uh, mosque. I spoke to the imam a few times, um, read, it, read, read passages in the Quran, and then yeah, took my took my shahada about. What? That's, 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 that's amazing, you know. Uh, what, what was the one fundamental thing that attracted you to Islam? Probably the, uh, the faith that the brothers have. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? A lot, a lot of the brothers have a, a real faith. Um, how friendly they were, how keen, they, the first time I went to the mosque, how keen they were to, to help and yeah. share, share the faith. Um, and really just in a way the simpleness of it what, what about the beliefness of one god yeah yeah, yeah because yeah, you did mention that for example that yeah. in native christianity you've got jesus in the picture and the holy spirit and yeah. in Catholicism, mary yeah did that leave you a bit confused like yes. yeah 100 yeah because, that's what... because they are seen as some kind of sub-divine yeah it all depends mm. you know yeah um, yeah so that was that was one of the things i remember being in a um, catholic church and when when um when Allah sort of blessed me with sort of like maybe just to ask these questions there's like these statues of Mary everywhere and yeah. that sort of really started troubling me a little bit and even the amount of focus they put on Jesus when you think hang on a minute there's supposed to be a God the Father here yeah. and the Spirit and there's, there's all, everything's on Jesus yeah. Um, and uh, wow. yeah, yeah that's interesting because this is what Islam is so unique in you know because what Islam came down is to give glad tidings of paradise to the people and it's asked a simple message 
it said that worship God alone. So one of the verses in Surah Ikhlas is Kul huwa Allahu ahad, Allahu samad, lam yalid wa lam yulad wa lam yakul lahu kufu wa nahad. Say he is one, yeah. self-sufficient. He does not beget, nor is he begotten, and there is nothing like unto him. It's a simple message. The point here is this, that Islam has come to bring back the true, pure monotheism. Because if you look at Christianity, they claim to be monotheists as well. Yeah. They say they don't believe in the oneness of God. We're like, yeah, okay, but Jesus is God, and the Holy Spirit is God, and the Father is God, but they're not three gods that one God. I mean, like, Hang on a minute. Yeah. You know, yeah. and this is one of the biggest downfalls of Christianity. Yes. Yeah. There was a historian uh, a, in history, there was an individual, I can't remember his name. He was a Unitarian. He actually was advising them and he was saying, look, how long has the Muhammad, they used to call the Muslims the Muhammadans, how much longer are they going to laugh at us to the concept of Trinity? Yeah. It doesn't make no. sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, obviously, this doesn't mean that we laugh at individuals. No. <coughs> Sorry. The thing is this, though. We, when we try to engage with our Christian fellow, like, brothers and sisters in humanity, we try to point that out. And they get offended and they start insulting us. And we're like, look, I'm not doing this to mock you. Yeah. I'm doing this to show you that it doesn't make sense. Yeah. Because God Almighty is asking us to worship Him alone. Mm. We affirm His Lordship. We affirm God is the one who created heaven and earth. He didn't need Jesus to do that. He didn't need the Holy Spirit. He didn't need the Prophet Muhammad. Peace be upon him and Jesus. He didn't need any of them. So we affirm his lordship. He's the one who's the only sovereign, the one who's created heavens and the earth. He didn't need anybody. Okay. Now, a lot of people in uh, Arabia, um, pagan Arabs, they believe they believed in Allah. They believed in God. Well, what made them disbelievers? Because they associated statues and said, we believe in God. We just, go, we just want to get closer to him through the statue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is what in Catholicism, this is what they do with Mary. Yeah. And in the, 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 the other Christian denominations, they do it through Jesus. We always have this psychological, and this is where the Satan gets us. We want something physical mm. that we can see, mm. that we can go through. Yeah. And that's why God Almighty's reward for paradise is there, because as long as you believe in him without seeing him, you know, and that's one of the reasons what led you to Islam, and this is what Islam has come to affirm what all the prophets call to. Every single one of the prophets, none of them came and said, hey, by the way, guys, Jesus is a part of God, the Holy Spirit. Yeah, yeah. None of them ever said that. No, no, no. Jesus no. himself never said that. He never said, said that, did he? Well, so the, the guy asked, yeah. the, the Pharisee said, um, What's, yeah. the, what's the greatest commandment? And he yeah, said, to worship yeah, yeah. the Lord your God. Yeah, hero Israel. What, what is, like, he said, what is the greatest commandment? Yeah. He said, hero Israel, our Lord God is one God. Mm. So the thing is that, and this is the reason why, sadly, a lot of people are leaving Christianity because it doesn't make sense. What they're doing is they're going to the pole opposite, atheism. Yeah. yeah. And then they're having some spiritual emptiness. Yeah. And then they're thinking, okay, what do I do from now? So that's why Islam has come to correct the message of the people of the book. And those mistakes and corruptions that were made in the Bible to correct it. And those who are sincere accept it. And those who are not, sadly, what they do is they lie. You know, oh, Islam is this, Islam is that. And when it comes to choosing a religion, we can't be like, okay, I want the religion to fit my lifestyle. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. a lot of people come and say, oh, I became a Muslim, but it was too hard. Well, if this is the truth, mm. let's suppose arguments, I don't believe it's that hard. No. All you're doing is adapting a lifestyle which you're not really used to, yeah. and you get used to it. Yeah. If it's really the truth that you're looking for, I wouldn't care if God said to me every Monday I have to climb a tree, get an apple, <laughs> yeah, come back down yeah. and do four press-ups. Exactly, yeah, you do. I'm going to do it. Yeah. So yeah. sometimes you see individuals who are like, oh no, it's time too hard for me. But yeah, like, it's, it's, this is really amazing. So are you, are you married? Yes, married, two children. Oh wow, that's married amazing. How, how's your wife take it? Um, she, she's okay. Yeah. <laughs> she's yeah. okay. Yeah, she's yeah. not. Uh, you know, she's, she's not. I got. She's not converted anytime soon. But no we, pray, we pray for it. So. Okay, she's a Christian. Yes. Okay, as far as I know, you can be married to the people of the book. So as a Muslim, yeah, usually, okay. usually it's a bit of a hard thing where if the woman becomes a Muslim and the man is not, okay. then they'll have to divorce. Like, it's, that's how, yeah, it is. Right, 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 but okay. as a man, you are allowed to marry the people of the book. Yeah. Uh, which I'm not giving a fatwa, I'm just saying like, that's what scholars said. Yeah. But you know one thing with reverts who come to Islam, one thing I would say is that Allah has chosen you maybe as an ambassador for you to help your family to come to Islam. Mm. Same with me, I'm a revert to Islam. Okay. I came to Islam seven years ago. Right. Yeah? So the thing is, it's the same thing, and people in my family have become Muslim. So 
So just see it as you're an ambassador. It'll get hard. Yeah. It'll be tough times. Yeah. I'll go through it day in day out, you know, with family members. And that's the hardest, you know, yeah. Yeah. because it's very hard trying to convince family members. Or yeah. They, so, yeah, is, is any message you would like to give to the viewers? Um, just keep following the, just keep following the truth. Um, uh, and I'll, I'll lead you in just, uh, yeah, what you said about just if you find the truth, then you got to do what you, you got to do. Don't have something that just fits into your own lifestyle to make you happy. So. Exactly, man. And I'll ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make it easy for you, inshallah. Thank you. Uh, inshallah, you. unite us in Jannah. Um, and yeah, and carry on the message, uh, you know, and, and, and with your actions, with the way you carry yourself. It's very important to family members. It's not more of what you say more of what you show them yes, do, yeah. so it's very important for us to conduct ourselves in the best way yeah. uh, and show the best person that we could be yeah. Uh, and yeah thank you for your time Adam it was thank a pleasure you if there's your... anything we need yeah. we're here every Sunday here at the park cool. uh, it'll be a pleasure thank, thank you, you very much your, thank you for your yeah. videos no and problem, no problem. Yeah, bless yeah, you. No problem. Yeah, thank you very much inshallah. from sisters oh here we are from Salam Kornal with Adam inshallah till next time Salam alaikum inshallah anyone in Brighton maybe leave a comment maybe you, you have a Muslim community there Bournemouth Bournemouth, Bournemouth. 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 <laughs> do, you have a, do you have any Muslim friends there? No, not really, not yet. No. Okay, so if there's anyone living in Bournemouth, um, and maybe he'll check the comment section, you can get in contact with him, inshallah. And yeah, so next time, assalamu alaikum.